Today on Two Crazy Ketos, I'm gonna test my blood sugar after eating keto bars. And we'll start that test right after this. Hey, what's up family? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you'll find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and you hit that little bell button so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. So I'm sure you're wondering, where is Rachel? Well, unfortunately, Rachel had to take her mom to the doctor today. And so I figured this was a good opportunity for me to do this video because this is something that really applies more to me than her. She doesn't consume bars very often, whereas I eat them all the time, especially because of my schedule, because I'm always on the go. And uh, I just like having something that I can grab on my way out the door uh, to kind of give me a little bit of energy before a game or something like that. So we're going to do a blood sugar test on the Keto Bars. These are the original one, it's KetoBars.com. And recently they reached out to us and asked us if they could send us some, some boxes because they've redone their packaging. And uh, so we decided to, why not do a video testing our blood sugar on these? Now, if you've never had the Keto Bars, they are really good. They actually have three different flavors. There's a dark chocolate uh, coconut almond. They have a chocolate peanut butter. And then there's also a mint chocolate, which is my favorite. And they actually have a limited edition flavor, which you can pre-order right now, which is like chocolate covered strawberry. And that is a collaboration between them and Keto Connect. Uh, so there is a link down below, a little bit of disclosure. If you do use that link, it will give our channel a little bit of money to help support us. Uh, they don't have a coupon code or anything that they've given us or anything like that, uh, but they do have a mailing list where if you sign up for the mailing list, you get a discount off of your first order. So I'll leave a link for that down below as well. Uh, so like I said, they sent us these. We did not pay for them. And I figured that why not test my blood sugar? Because I do eat them all the time. They're the original keto bar. And we're gonna do the mint chocolate ones because these are my favorite. So let's go over the macros real quick. I'm, I know we've done them before. We've done a full review on them. I'll leave that right up over my head, but I'll just refresh your memory. So the ingredients in this are chocolate, almonds, coconut, non-GMO erythritol, cocoa pressed with alkali, water, salt, stevia, and peppermint oil. And then the nutrition facts on this are uh, 220 calories, 170 calories from fat, 19 grams of total fat, six grams of carbohydrate, uh, protein rather, 15 total carbohydrates, seven grams of fiber, five grams of erythritol. So that's going to make this three net carbs per serving. And this is what one of the bars looks like. So we can get that to focus. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to test my blood sugar now. I'm gonna eat this keto bar and then we'll come back in 30 minutes, then an hour, and then based on how it's going, we may test again in two hours. So let's test the blood sugar, see where we're starting at. So we're starting off at 90. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and eat this, and then we'll come back in 30 minutes. This mint chocolate, it's like eating a Girl Scout Thin Mint. We'll check in in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and check our blood glucose. Okay, remember our starting was at 90. That was 30 minutes ago, and now we are at 93. Okay, so that is pretty good, especially when you consider that, you know, these things have like a margin of error, I think, of up to 20%. But so far, I'm super encouraged. I mean, I really enjoy these things, and with only a three-point hike, that's like nothing. So we'll check again another 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been another 30 minutes. So that's one hour since we ate the keto bar. So let's go ahead and check our blood sugar again. Yeah, 
It is 91. So drop back down to 91. Will that focus? There we go, focus. Well, I'm really excited with these results. I mean, we started off with a 90 with a high of 93 after 30 minutes and to already see it coming back down at the one hour mark, for me, there's no real reason to come back and check uh, again at the two hour mark like I would normally. Usually when I do that, it's just because we kind of went up and I want to see how far down it's going to come or if it's going to continue coming back down. But we really didn't have a jump. So for me, there's no reason to really tap at that two hour mark. And I feel really good knowing that these don't impact my glucose. I mean, to start off at a 90 and only go to a 93, that's like nothing. Because I know for myself, if I test my glucose like right after each other, like where I test it and then immediately test it again, a lot of times it's like an 88, 89, or and then it will test like a 90 or test it an 87. It's usually like one or two points off every single time I test. So I'm knowing now after doing this test that there really was no impact on my glucose. I'm excited about that. I'm excited to be able to keep eating these in my ketogenic diet. And I'm also excited that Rachel and I can continue to recommend them because it is a great alternative. Uh, if you're looking for a snack or something on the go to give yourself a little bit of extra fat, give yourself a little bit of energy. Uh, so like I said, they have three different flavors. Uh, you have the dark chocolate coconut almond. You have the chocolate peanut butter, and then my favorite, which is the mint chocolate, which to me tastes just like a Girl Scout Thin Mint. And they also have the new flavor coming out, which I believe is a limited edition flavor. It's chocolate covered strawberry, and that's a collaboration between Keto Bars and uh, Keto Connect. So if you've ever had any of these bars, let us know down in the comment section what your favorite flavor is. And if you've never had them, what flavor would you be most interested in uh, trying out? Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if this was beneficial for you. And let us know if there's any other products that you'd like us to test our glucose level with, especially products that we eat on a regular basis. Um, please do us a favor and hit that like button down below and hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye.